warning. The following video contains information that may be considered disturbing and offensive to bandwagon fans. Please ensure that you know the emergency exits on your bandwagon and your bandwagon seatbelts are securely fastened. Bandwagon fans, they are everywhere. We all love sports, football, cricket, basketball, etc. But unfortunately, bandwagon fans or bandwagonists, as they are known in Trinidad and Tobago, are a constant annoyance to legitimate fans of the game. Here are five ways to spot a bandwagon fan. The merchandise fans. Now don't get me wrong, they are legit fans who support their team and buy the gear, flags, etc. But these bandwagon fans, in order to show their loyalty, overcompensate to fit in. They would go out and buy everything in sight, sing the loudest, take thousands of pictures, often taunt fans who may not have the financial power to buy as much as they do, and berate them for not being real fans, making quotes such as, if you are a real fan, you would spend your money, and when the team loses, these fans are never seen again until another team wins, after which they now go on a spending spree for that team. Shame on you, shame on you. The seasonal social fans. These fans are nowhere to be seen when their teams are playing throughout the season or when they are struggling, but they miraculously turn up for finals or after they win. These are also the fans that appear once every four years for major tournaments such as the World Cup. They profess their undying love for the team they supported for the last few seconds. They infuriate real fans with their comments like it's just a game. Don't worry, next time, I am a, insert team here, fan for life. These are the fans who actually say they don't like football or sports that much 99% of the time and don't even know the players. Yes, these people exist. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. You would see them on, at most social events and in the middle of all the pictures. The Google fans. These are probably the worst. Let's be real. Google is an amazing tool for getting instant information. However, these fans mask their definite lack of knowledge with a simple click. They are very quick to whip out statistics and facts after a quick Google search to reinforce their vast knowledge. They are guilty of using every generic sports statement that the media puts out, preferably examples such as this. Syria is boring, La Liga is a two-horse race, South Americans are divers, and most popular, England are going to win the World Cup because they have the best team and league in the world, leaving legitimate fans fuming by their knowledge. These are the most annoying people because they can mislead people into thinking they are legit football fans and they are definitely, most definitely, not. The diehard fans. They need to let everyone know that the team they have been supporting for the last five minutes is the best. Often saying stuff like, what has your team won? Or my team is on top right now. When asked to name players on the squad or the team, they can't answer and 100% of the time guarantee to ditch their team when they are struggling. They love to use I am a fan from day one all the time. They usually know little or nothing about the team or football in general or sports in general. To sum it up, they only support winning teams. All right, is that what they're calling it now? Because it used to be called when I was growing up. The most popular, get the simplest, the overnight fans. Listen, nothing is wrong with falling for a team since technically we all started somewhere, but nothing, nothing is more revolting and aggravating to fans of the game when people who don't care about the game or sport in general and who disregard sport 99% of the time just decide that the team that they are going to support is a team on top at the moment. I am looking at you, Chelsea, Man City, Barcelona fans, Spain fans, because by the time the World Cup comes around, they will be supporting other teams. They like these teams for the simple reason that they are winning right now, and when they don't, they switch. No matter what team you support, all football fans agree that these are the worst kinds of bandwagon fans. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our list of the top five ways to spot a bandwagon fan. Okay, 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 that's enough. Stop, stop, stop. Guys, seriously, is this what you want to see? A guy in glasses with a very cliche blazer doing a top five? It's not a weather report. This is not what you want to see on your first episode. Would you like to see more? Would you like to see awesomeness? Stay tuned, because that's what you're going to see. I am sure all of you can relate to this. It's unfortunately a very common thing. So, with that being said, if you agree, disagree, or think there's one that I missed, feel free to tweet me at Andres Oklal or message me on Instagram at Andres Oklal. Also, this episode of Extra Time TV has been brought to you by Flow Mobile, where Flow Mobile users can download the Flow Sports app and watch Flow Sports 1 free. Yes, 
free. This is Andres Soklal of Extra Time TV. Thank you for joining us.